Hi, Nayland here at Nether Studio. So welcome. Today we will look at 10 roof types that you need to know here in Akikad. Coming in at number one is the monitor roof. In order to do that, we will use the roof here in the design tab of the info box. So here you can adjust the angle of the roof that you want. In my case, I'm going to use 30. You can adjust as well the height of the roof upon your walls and here in multi-plane geometry you can also adjust the offset and i find that in a practice it's much lower than 800 and that will be it for now we say okay and begin to place before we begin to place make sure you have the multi-plane geometry selected and also the second method of construction such that we have ourselves this gable look to this thing and as well i like to reduce the eave on the top and bottom parts so with the marquee tool if we go into 3d by hitting f5 we should have ourselves something going on here so this is where our first roof is going to stop and we need a roof on top of that. So for that we're going to pick this same roof by alt clicking or using this pick up parameter and we go to the roof plan here and draw it on top of that and I'll try to reduce on either side now when we go to 3d we have those two and this is a way too high we can bring it down proportionally something like by 1.2 and I'm quite happy with that with these walls selected, we can suspend group and click on one of the nodes and take it up using the pet palette by stretching the height all the way to just above the roof and using this trim element to roof shell or shell, we will double click on top of this roof and we have that created and if for some reason you cannot see that icon make sure to go to options work environment and in apply profile be sure to choose architectural profile 25 and then you should be able to have that this beautiful palette there so select these walls which are on here we will unsuspend groups such that we can select all the walls around this monitor monitor roof area we we'll click on trim elements to roof or shell double click on this roof and there we are we have created ourselves a monitor roof coming in at number two is the hip and valley roof for the hip and valley roof we want to use the same settings but this time we just change the construction method to this one here and space click in order to capture that area just space click or another method is to just use this kind of construction where we just click on every node manually such that we can go around and that would be good if we have a shape which is hard to capture by space clipping clicking so now when we select when we mark you across this area with a bold mark you we can hit f5 and fit to window and we have ourselves our hip and valley and these roofs can be adjusted in all views like the, in 3d we could also take this node to make this a gable by stretching it frontally and be sure to click on one of these nodes where 90 degrees is being formed and we have ourselves a gable in this area so now when we select this roof or we can suspend group such that we just uh, elevate just this this roof so click on the node stretch it upward and just above this this roof click on trim elements to roof double click and there we are you have ourselves a gable plus it's called hip and valley next add number three is the salt box so the salt box looks pretty much like the gable roof so we will 
alt click to pick that and be sure to change the construction method to this one here and when we come to this area we just place it in and the only difference between this and the other is that we might need to move this middle area and move it by a certain distance you can put in the one that you like and as well for this type of thing i love to offset all the edges and be sure to make them touch the wall itself and when we do that the roof is going to be formed on the first floor fair enough if we go to the roof plan here we can find it on this first floor when we go to the settings as well we could change the geometry and positioning to a vertical roof edge when we say okay that was going to help us have a vertical roof edge so let's look at what it looks like in 3d so with the mark you have pressed f5 let me fit to window so we have these vertical edges which look kind of good so now let's get these walls and suspend group to have all of them selected suspend group again such that we can be able to move this up just above this one and all of them will be moved up and using this using the trim elements to roof double click on the roof here and all these walls are going to be trimmed according trimmed according to that roof and we have ourselves our soap box and that's the major difference it's just that it's offset out a bit coming in at number four is the dropped eve so the dropped eve this kind of looks like the salt box so we will pick the salt box by alt clicking or using the speaker param parameters and clicking onto this so we will draw that main shape and it looks like a salt box because this is moved sideways so we move that sideways by certain dimension and we want to be able to remove this area and currently we cannot do that because if we dare to do that we will have uh we will no longer have a a two two-sided thing so you don't want to do that so in order to subtract that area we might need to split into single plane roofs so split anyway and then we can be able to remove this area so let's must subtract from this polygon remove that and we have a portion which is still left so be sure to remove that or else you might have some issues so I'll go ahead and remove that yes you can see that it's gone and as well we might need to move this to the outer edge for all of this structure because it would be problematic if it's not on the outer edge because we are going to to trim so you need this thing to be on the outer edge or across the entire thing so select also the second roof and inspect to, sh to make sure that it includes this finishing as well so let's mark you across the whole entire thing f5 to go into 3d and there we have it something pretty cool here so let's select all the walls by selecting one of them and suspend groups such that all of them are selected and it looks like these are different walls okay we can select them as well so suspend groups again such that we can be able to stretch and um, to something a bit higher than there so there we are now with everything selected we click on trim elements to roof shell double click onto this roof and there you have it so we have ourselves that and uh, we have a problem here and that's because this thing is at an angle so we can click on one this thing and change the angle such that it's vertical instead of it being at a an unknown angle and now we have it cleaned out great so this is the dropped eve coming in at number five is the clary story so let's see so the clary story is something to do with the windows which are supposed to be probably on the first floor not the first floor okay they are about high above well we will need 
something which has like a gable of sorts so perhaps we can make a gable and split it why not so let's pick that gable make sure that it's this method which is selected and we click and we have it formed already like we did before i like to have this much smaller than the other two two sides just for design purposes and of course we must split this thing in my opinion so split into single plane roof split anyway and now we can go ahead right here and enlarge this because it needs to be over this wall here which has some openings i already made these pre-made these walls to signify where the clearest story is going to stop so i need just a small distance across here and this one should take back a bit and somewhere right there so let's make <coughs> more concrete decisions in 3d so i will do that by going to the 3d view and there we are we have something going on we already have that wall for clear story so these walls we can using this trim tool shell wall so double click and i think i shouldn't have selected all of them so what we need is to suspend group and select this all of them so select this trim icon double click and those will be trimmed select this one as well trim double click and it will be trimmed and you can see that now this one should be trimmed using this second option simple right double click and there we are we have ourselves a clear story you can have your windows in there or even move this up a little bit to have more space for those openings on that story coming in at number six is the skillion and lean tool so the skillion and lean tool needs to be like one of these but it needs to be a single plane so picking that i'm going to use a single plane and i'm going to use this middle method of construction and the first line is going to specify where the roof is going to sit and the second click is going to specify where the roof is going to face so now we can drill that roof on top of this and there we are we have created it and as well it needs to be a smaller angle we need to double check that here and make it like 10 degrees in my opinion yes great and we can make it overlap just a little bit uh, across this and as well we also need the same kind of roof onto the lean tool here so click and put where the roof is going to sit specify where it's going to face and put the roof on top of this thing here so let's put it here and expand it by offsetting edge to this space here so let's adjust that in 3d so selecting everything here i'm gonna fit to window and there we are pretty cool we can select this wall select all of them actually by unsuspending group and click onto the trimming icon and then double click and there we are it's changed we select these walls as well suspend groups again such that we can be able to stretch the height we can do that click onto the trim elements to roof double click and that lean tool is created and if you want to also adjust what the angle should be you can adjust it here by setting it to vertical i like it vertical on that area looks much better and there you have it you have your lean tool and skillion right there moving on to number seven sawtooth so this sawtooth we're going to use a lean tool approach so we'll pick one of these lean tool roofs and it supposed to come from here just click the first just identify where the roof is gonna sit in my case it needs to be here 
click where the roof is gonna face and put in the the roof now that it's done we can make a copy by ctrl shift d and put it in this place to make sure that it flashes with where we want it to be make another copy with ctrl shift d and we have ourselves the three roofs so tooth roofs so if we go into 3d there we have it we have them there but the angle is not convincing we might need to take it up to something like 30 degrees or 25 that looks more like it so let's uh, actually these walls that i did use are the same as this ground floor wall so you just need to duplicate them so with this selected click onto trim elements to roof double click onto the roof there you are and you're done with this selected you can select this one as well right click connect trim elements to roof and we hit trim it's the same idea select this trim elements to roof double click and there you are you have yourself this but of course this is conceptual we need to have some details going on in here but since it's conceptual we'll just even make it 90 degrees just there to have it vertical and it looks sick and insane so that just means that we can as well expand these to show our finishing on the wall because if if you don't expand them they will cut through the wall so that's the idea you can make it de more detailed of course but there you have your saw tool coming in number eight is the dome shell dome roof so for the dome roof we're going to use the shell tool so double click onto the shell and be sure to change to this revolved type of construction and we want to choose the material which we have been using before which is the general roof or shell and we say okay from the ground floor it's where we want to be able to draw using that first method of construction by specifying the sender and double clicking onto the final point that was there and there we are so if we go to 3d by mcqing f5 fit to window there we are we can move this roof shell something to the top of our wall and there we have our dome moving on to roof number nine it's the bell shaped which is also achieved with the shell tool so double click onto the shell tool and we'll pick the same one but this time under revolution properties we want to check segment surface rotation to check segments so we put in here 12 i think look much better on a circle and using the center we can draw this make sure to so can draw this and double click on the outside so we have ourselves this shell which is editable also in this elevation so if we open this elevation in new tab we're going to see something here and we can take it up by dragging it to the top i think i did not drag it correctly holding down shift Huh, that's strange anyway we can drag it to the top and there we have it but we need something to crown up this bell shape of ours which we can do with what i the reference i put on the first floor so if i go to the first floor we have this reference which is supposed to be half of our bell crown so let's pick the shell tool and this time we are going to choose this other kind of method method of construction here and we are going to space click to pick these parameters and specify the line of revolution which is going to be the straight line here so here we put in the angle of rotation 360 degrees we say okay 
and it has been formed on the wrong side of the coin we want to go to the settings and flip that say okay and now it's been formed on the right side and we need to rotate it such that it's being shown in elevation so we need to open an elevation where we can see it and i think it should be right there Control e to rotate and we make it stand in this elevation so let's see whether we can see it in this one move it to the place it's supposed to be such that that elevation that section is going to help us position it to the right kind of spice cool huh so now when we go to 3d by our good old mark and around this shape we can press f5 and fit to window and there you are beautiful and finally we're going to look at the carved design of a roof which we're going to use here on the ground floor i already have an outline of what it should look like so using the shell tool we're gonna have to use uh we're gonna have to choose this method of construction which is the first type and make sure to choose the second option and and space click in order to put in the extrusion length and oh we need to measure that so the extrusion length if we press m is about seven meters so if we leave a meter here and a meter behind that will give us about nine right so we'll make this nine meters and we say okay and there you are but of course it's in the wrong plane so we want to be able to use our elevation here in order to reorient it because you can see it's the other way around by ctrl e we can reorient it to be like this drag it all the way back to the ground floor where it's supposed to be and we need to reposition it in the floor plan such that we have it in a space where it's supposed to be so move it backward here we were supposed to leave a meter before that wall and there we are balanced right so with the marquee tool go to 3d we can see that now it's right there so let's pick our two walls and extend them just be sure to suspend group click on one of those nodes take it all the way up above the shell and you can use the same thing that we did use trim elements to roof or shell this is a shell so double click onto it and there you have it and thank you so much for watching and hope you did learn something if you did smash like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time